Hello and welcome to another AIC video. This will be a quick walk around of my tough shed that I bought at Home Depot. Uh, this is one of the ones that you could buy without any kind of customization or anything. Uh, I didn't even get to pick the color they painted it. It is a lot cheaper to do that. <laughs> That's one of the reasons why I went with it. It saved almost a thousand dollars, I think, by doing this versus buying one with uh, customization options, which is fine. I'm going to use that money to finish it out, basically. Uh, there's going to be some changes I do make to it, and I'll discuss that here in a moment. We'll do a walk around around the outside and then go on the inside and take a look. So, the guy showed up yesterday around 10, 15 or so in the morning. They were done before 1 o'clock. Uh, they did take frequent breaks, which I absolutely do not blame them. It was like 113 yesterday. Uh, I did provide them with some ice water uh, to drink, uh, as well as some chairs to sit on, uh, because you know I, was, I wasn't paying them per hour. I already paid for the in, the shed and the install of the shed, so I wanted them to be safe. It was super hot. These uh, paving stones, I got those and I got them kind of level. Uh, I didn't do a super job because this was actually wasn't actually supposed to come until next week and so I was going to be leveling them out this week <clears throat> excuse me this weekend uh, so yeah that was my goal and then they called me the day before yesterday and said hey we have an opening they're gonna to come tomorrow if that's alright and I said that's fine and then stuff came up and I just wasn't able to come out here and do it but they got him pretty level um, as you can see they only have just a couple of shims on them so they're able to use it and the ground was, was already kind of flat so, I think it's looking pretty good. It's got a pretty decent drip edge here. This is metal, I think. Yeah, it's metal. These are real asphalt shingles. Side. and it's not a big space like it's not ginormous 10 by 12 is a mid-size larger mid-size room all my kids have a bigger bedroom than that so um, I'm able to walk to the very edge uh, standing my goal is I'm going to put power in here. I need, I'm getting that permitted, so it can't happen yet. But my desk is probably gonna go over there. I'm gonna put some shelves over here. I'm gonna have a window here and here somewhere. I'm going to have a sofa here, I think. Um, I'm going to have an air conditioning unit put in here, just a little window one. Um, and then up in this corner, I'm going to have some way to mount my camera um, up here. Uh, this all be insulated, drywalled, finished put insulation up in the ceiling so it should be uh, a lot cooler in here uh, with that I'm not quite sure what to do about the vent with the air conditioning and with um, insulation and drywall and stuff I may have to have that plugged up or I may put a window there I don't know. Um, maybe I'll put a window in that opening that's already there and exists we'll see we'll see that's kind of an important beam there May not. Um, may just cover that up with some plastic or something. Keep it for looks. Uh, the floor is pretty decent. Um, there's no wiggle, no squeak as I walk around. The noise you hear is just my shoes that I'm wearing. Um, I'm walking from side to side. Uh, I usually can tell when something's not level. It makes me feel weird. 
and this feels pretty good. I know that sounds weird, but I have an ear thing that uh, if I'm off balance, I, I can feel it. It makes me feel kind of nauseous pretty quick. <clears throat> so, yeah, and these stud, they're, I believe they're pretty standard. They're 16 inches on center between the two. So should be pretty easy to get some uh, pretty standardized things to come in here, insulate and uh, get it ready for use. So the next thing has got to be power. So I can't do anything until my power is permitted. <clears throat> and excuse me, oh, she's driving me crazy. Um, I can't do anything until the power is permitted and then I can uh, in set up the power, install the power. Once the power is installed, then I can um, finish it up, basically. So I'm going to do, put some flooring in here. I'm going to probably come back pre the next day or two and actually paint the floor in here. Because I'm going to be putting carpet down, and the carpet's not going to stick to the wood because it's got to peel and stick back into it. So, But it should stick to the painted surface is my thought process on that. So that's probably gonna be my next thing is just paint. I, I have some oil-based paint, take a few days to dry, but since I have the time, I'm gonna use it because it's a pretty good paint. Goes on pretty heavy. So I was gonna to run to the store today, pick up some rollers that I don't care about <laughs> that I can throw away when I'm done because that oil-based paint is nasty stuff. Like it just, it's hard to clean, clean up, so. Uh, the door is pretty big and pretty heavy. I'm going to get some weather stripping to put around it um, so when I close it, it seals pretty good. If I'm going to have an air conditioner in here, I don't want it to just vent to atmosphere as much as possible. But yeah, I think that's really that's really it. It's, it's pretty simple. It's just a shell, really. If you're just going to use it as a shed, um, you could add some shelving in here or whatever and good to go. But since I plan on actually finishing this out, it's a little bit more work. Um, mainly the permits uh, for the electrical. That's that's the big one, is, is getting that done. So, anywho, if you have any thoughts, comments, leave those down in the section down below. I'm not quite sure what questions people wanna know about uh, a shed. So if you have any questions, if you're looking to buy one of these, definitely let me know what questions you might have and I'll do my best to answer that. But yeah, I'm so far I'm impressed with its construction quality and the quality of the install. Um, on the shed Ooh, and it is echoey in there so I'm definitely going to have to uh, um, you know do some sound deadening or whatnot to uh, get that to uh, not be a unpleasant place to record in so anyways thank you for watching and I hope you have an amazing day